The night was alive with vibrant costumes, laughter, and the haunting melodies of Halloween. Ethan entered the party dressed as a classic vampire, his dark cape billowing behind him. The room was filled with witches, ghosts, and various mythical creatures, but one figure caught his eye immediately. Across the room stood Georgia, dressed as a stunning fairy, her wings shimmering in the dim light. Her smile was radiant, and Ethan felt an instant connection. Gathering his courage, he approached her. Hello there, fairy princess, Ethan said with a grin. Care for a dance? Georgia laughed, her eyes sparkling. Only if you promise not to bite. He chuckled, offering his hand. I promise. Shall we? They moved to the center of the room, where the music seemed to play just for them. As they danced, the world around them faded away. Ethan couldn't take his eyes off her. She was enchanting, and he was completely captivated. So, what's your story, Georgia? He asked as they swayed to the rhythm. Not much to tell, she replied with a playful smile. I'm just a regular girl who likes dressing up as a fairy and dancing with mysterious vampires at Halloween parties. What about you? Ethan shrugged. I work too much, don't dance enough, and I'm terrible at small talk. But tonight, I'm trying to change that. George's laughter was like music to his ears. Well, you're doing a pretty good job so far. As the night went on, they danced and talked about everything and nothing. Ethan learned that Georgia loved painting, had a soft spot for old movies, and dreamed of traveling the world. She learned that he was a budding entrepreneur, passionate about his work, but longing for more balance in his life. When the clock struck midnight, they found themselves alone on the balcony, overlooking the city. The air was cool, and the lights below twinkled like stars. I know we just met, Ethan began, breaking the comfortable silence but I feel like I've known you forever. Georgia nodded, her expression serious for the first time that night. I feel the same way. Let's make a promise, Ethan. No matter what happens, we'll always be together and forgive each other. Ethan took her hand, his heart swelling with emotion. I promise, Georgia, always. They stood there, holding hands, feeling the magic of the moment. Ethan knew, deep down, that this was just the beginning of something extraordinary. The night was filled with possibilities, and for the first time in a long while, he felt truly alive. Do you believe in fate? Georgia asked softly, looking up at him with those mesmerizing eyes. I didn't, Ethan admitted, but now I think I do. Georgia smiled, leaning in closer. Then let's see where fate takes us. They sealed their promise with a kiss, under the starry Halloween sky, ready to face whatever the future had in store for them, together. Life was blissful for Ethan and Georgia. They married within a year and built a beautiful life together. Their days were filled with laughter, love, and the comfort of knowing they had found their soulmate. But one weekend, Ethan had to go on a business trip, leaving Georgia behind. I'll be back before you know it, Ethan said, Kissing her goodbye at the door, Georgia wrapped her arms around him, holding on for just a moment longer. Hurry back, she whispered. I'll miss you. Ethan smiled, touching her cheek gently. I'll miss you more. Be safe. As he drove away, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was leaving a part of himself behind. The trip was supposed to be routine, just a few meetings, and then he'd be back home. But he had no idea how much everything was about to change. When Ethan returned three days later, the house was eerily quiet. The usual welcoming smell of dinner cooking was absent, and there was no cheerful greeting from Georgia. Georgia? He called out, but there was no answer. His heart pounded as he moved through the house, each step heavier than the last. Panic set in as he rushed upstairs, bursting into their bedroom. There, he found her. Georgia lay lifeless and limp on the bed, her skin pale and her breathing shallow. Georgia. He screamed, rushing to her side. He shook her gently, trying to wake her. She stirred slightly, but her injuries were severe. 
Ethan's mind raced as he scooped her up into his arms, not wasting another second. He carried her to the car and sped to the nearest clinic, which was run by a family friend, Greg. Greg, a handsome and muscular man in his forties, met them at the door. Ethan, what happened? I found her like this, Ethan said, his voice breaking. Please, Greg, help her. Greg's eyes narrowed with concern as he took Georgia from Ethan's arms. We'll take care of her, Ethan. You stay here. Ethan nodded, watching helplessly as Greg and the medical team whisked Georgia away. He paced the waiting room, his mind racing with fear and questions. Each minute felt like an eternity, and he couldn't shake the dread that something terrible had happened. Hours passed, stretching into what felt like days, until Greg finally emerged from the treatment room. Ethan rushed to him, desperate for answers. She's stable, Greg said, placing a reassuring hand on Ethan's shoulder. But we need to keep her here for a few days to monitor her condition. Ethan let out a breath he didn't realize he was holding. Thank you, Greg. I don't know what I'd do without her. Greg nodded, his expression serious. We're doing everything we can. You should go home and get some rest. Ethan shook his head. I can't leave her. Not now. Greg sighed. I understand. You can stay, but try to get some sleep. She'll need you when she wakes up. Ethan sat by George's bedside, holding her hand and praying for her recovery. He watched her chest rise and fall with each breath, willing her to wake up and be okay. The beeping of the machines was a constant reminder of how fragile life could be. As the night wore on, Ethan couldn't help but feel an overwhelming sense of guilt. Why had he left? What if he had been there? His thoughts were a whirlwind of fear and regret, but one thing remained clear. He would do anything to protect Georgia and bring her back to health. Come back to me, Georgia, he whispered, tears streaming down his face. I can't lose you. The days that followed were a blur of waiting and hoping. Ethan barely left her side, holding on to the promise they had made to always be together and forgive each other, no matter what. He knew that whatever had happened, they would face it together. He watched for any sign of her waking, his heart aching with fear and hope. Finally, one morning, George's eyelids fluttered open. Ethan was immediately alert, leaning forward to meet her gaze. Tears filled her eyes as she looked at him. Ethan, she whispered, her voice trembling. I need to tell you something. Ethan squeezed her hand, his heart pounding. What is it, love? Georgia took a deep breath, her eyes filled with pain and regret. I had an affair with a man from my gym. I ended it, but he didn't take it well. He came over with some friends, and they, they forced themselves on me. Ethan's heart shattered. A whirlwind of emotions surged through him. Betrayal, anger, sorrow. He struggled to find his voice. Why didn't you tell me? George's tears flowed freely now. I was scared, Ethan. I didn't want to lose you. I'm so sorry. Ethan felt like the ground had been pulled out from under him. He couldn't comprehend the horror she had endured, nor the pain of her betrayal. But as he looked into her tear-filled eyes, he knew he couldn't abandon her. He pulled her into his arms, despite the pain and confusion gnawing at him. We'll get through this, Georgia. I promise. Georgia sobbed against his chest, clutching him tightly. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Ethan stroked her hair, trying to calm her. We made a promise, remember. No matter what happens, we'll always be together and forgive each other. She nodded, her body trembling. I remember, but I never imagined I'd hurt you like this. Ethan pulled back slightly, looking into her eyes. We'll find a way to move past this. We'll get help, and we'll heal together. But how? Georgia asked, her voice breaking. How can you still love me after everything? Ethan's heart ached with the weight of his words. Because I know the woman I married. You made a mistake, and it had terrible consequences. But I believe in us. I believe in our love. Georgia clung to him, her tears soaking his shirt. I'll do whatever it takes to make this right, Ethan. I promise. Ethan kissed her forehead, his own tears mingling with hers. 
We'll take it one day at a time. We'll face this together. The room was filled with the beeping of machines and the soft hum of hospital activity, but for Ethan and Georgia the world outside had ceased to exist. In that moment, they were just two people holding on to each other, trying to find a way back to the love they had always known. As the days turned into weeks, Ethan and Georgia began the slow, painful journey of healing. They sought counseling, leaned on each other for support, and slowly rebuilt the trust that had been shattered. It wasn't easy, and there were days when the pain seemed too much to bear, but their promise kept them going. One evening, as they sat together in the hospital room, Ethan took Georgia's hand and looked into her eyes. No matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Georgia squeezed his hand, a small smile playing on her lips. And I'll always be here for you, Ethan. We'll get through this. Together. Their journey was far from over. But in that moment, they knew they had the strength to face whatever came next. Their love, tested and scored, was still strong. And as long as they had each other, they could overcome anything. Ethan's anger grew with each passing day. He couldn't stand the thought of the man who hurt Georgia walking free. The revelation that the man was Greg. The same Greg who had helped save Georgia's life made his blood boil. How could someone he trusted have done such a thing? The rage consumed him, and he knew he had to confront Greg. He drove to the clinic, his heart pounding with a mix of fury and anticipation. As he entered the building, he spotted Greg in his office, reviewing some paperwork. Without hesitation, Ethan barged in. Greg! Ethan shouted, his voice echoing through the small office. Greg looked up, surprised. Ethan, what are you doing here? You ruined my life. Ethan screamed, lunging at him. His fists flew, fueled by a mix of anger and desperation. But Greg, towering and muscular, easily overpowered him. He grabbed Ethan's wrists and twisted, forcing him to the ground. The fight was brutal and quick. Ethan found himself on the floor, battered and bruised, his rage no match for Greg's strength. Stay away from me and Georgia, Ethan spat, his face swollen and bleeding. His voice was hoarse with pain and frustration. Greg looked down at him with disdain. You don't know the whole story, Ethan, but if you come at me again, I won't hold back. Ethan struggled to his feet, wiping blood from his mouth. What do you mean, the whole story? You assaulted my wife. How can there be more to it? Greg's eyes hardened. Georgia and I had an affair, yes, but I never forced myself on her. Those men she mentioned, they had nothing to do with me. She was trying to protect someone else. Ethan's mind raced. You're lying. Why would she lie to me about that? Greg sighed, his expression softening just a fraction. I'm not lying. You need to talk to her, Ethan. There are things you don't understand. Ethan stumbled back, the weight of Greg's words sinking in. His anger was still there, but now it was mixed with confusion and doubt. If you're lying, I swear I'll make you pay, he said, his voice shaking. I'm not lying, Greg replied quietly. Go home, Ethan. Talk to Georgia. Ethan left the clinic, his mind a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. He drove home, replaying the confrontation over and over in his head. Could Greg be telling the truth? Was there more to the story than he knew? When he got home, he found Georgia sitting on the couch, her eyes red from crying. She looked up as he entered, her face filled with concern. Ethan, what happened? You're hurt. He sat down beside her, his body aching from the fight. I confronted Greg, he said, his voice raw. He told me there's more to the story, that you were trying to protect someone else. Is it true, Georgia? Georgia's eyes widened, and she took a deep breath. Yes, Ethan. It's true. I didn't want to tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of losing you. Afraid of what you might do. Ethan felt a lump in his throat. Why didn't you trust me? We promised to always be honest with each other. I know, Georgia whispered, tears streaming down her face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. I was trying to protect you, too. 
I didn't want you to get hurt. Ethan took her hand, his anger slowly melting away. We'll get through this, Georgia, but we need to face it together. No more secrets, okay? She nodded, her grip tightening on his hand. Okay, no more secrets. Back at home, the atmosphere was thick with tension. Ethan sat on the edge of the couch, his hands clenched into fists, his mind reeling from the confrontation with Greg. Georgia sat beside him, her face pale, her eyes red from crying. Ethan, there's something else I need to tell you, she began, her voice barely above a whisper. Ethan turned to look at her, a sense of dread settling in his stomach. What is it, Georgia? She took a deep breath, tears welling up in her eyes. I'm pregnant, Ethan, and it's Greg's. Ethan felt like the ground had been pulled out from under him. He stared at her, unable to process her words. You're pregnant, he repeated, his voice hollow. Georgia nodded, her tears spilling over. Yes, I found out a few days ago. I wanted to tell you, but with everything that's happened, I didn't know how. Ethan stood up abruptly, his emotions boiling over. I can't do this, Georgia. I can't raise another man's child. Please, Ethan, she pleaded, standing up to face him. We can make this work. I love you, and I know you love me. We can get through this together. Ethan shook his head, his heart aching. I need to think about this. I need space. He turned and walked out of the room, leaving Georgia standing there, her shoulders shaking with silent sobs. He went upstairs to their bedroom, shutting the door behind him. He needed to be alone, to think, to process everything that had happened. Sitting on the edge of the bed, Ethan buried his face in his hands. How had everything gone so wrong? Just a few weeks ago, they were happy, planning their future together. Now, everything was falling apart. Hours passed as Ethan sat in the darkness, wrestling with his thoughts. He couldn't get Greg's words out of his head. There are things you don't understand. What had Greg meant by that? And could he really believe anything that came out of the man's mouth? Finally, he heard a soft knock on the door. Ethan. George's voice was tentative, filled with fear and hope. He didn't respond immediately, but after a moment, he said, Come in. Georgia entered, her eyes swollen from crying. She stood in the doorway, looking vulnerable and lost. Can we talk? She asked softly. Ethan nodded, motioning for her to sit beside him on the bed. She sat down, keeping a small distance between them. I'm so sorry, Ethan, she began, her voice trembling. I know I've hurt you more than I can ever make up for, but I love you, and I don't want to lose you. Please, can we find a way to get through this together? Ethan looked at her, his emotions a storm inside him. I don't know, Georgia. This is a lot to take in. I feel betrayed, and I don't know if I can ever look at you the same way again. Georgia's tears fell freely now. I understand. But I promise I'll do whatever it takes to make things right. I'll go to therapy. I'll do anything. Just please don't give up on us. Ethan sighed, feeling torn between his love for her and the pain of her betrayal. I need time, Georgia. I need to figure out if I can live with this, with you carrying Greg's child. She nodded, wiping her tears away. Take all the time you need. I'll be here, waiting for you. Ethan lay down on the bed, exhausted and emotionally drained. Georgia lay beside him, not touching but close enough to offer silent support. They lay there in the darkness, each lost in their own thoughts, wondering if their love could survive this unbearable truth. The decision was agonizing, but Ethan knew he couldn't stay. The betrayal, the lies, the unbearable truth about George's pregnancy. It was all too much. He stood in the doorway of their bedroom, watching George sleep one last time. Tears welled up in his eyes as he turned and quietly began packing his bags. As he zipped up the last suitcase, Georgia stirred and sat up, her eyes widening when she saw what he was doing. Ethan, what are you doing? She asked, her voice filled with panic. He looked at her, his heart breaking all over again. I can't stay, Georgia. I need to move on. 
This is too much for me to handle. Georgia got out of bed, rushing to him. Please, Ethan, don't leave. We can work through this. I love you. Ethan shook his head, a tear slipping down his cheek. I love you too, but I can't live with this betrayal. I need to heal, and I can't do that here. She reached for his hand, her grip desperate. Where will you go? I'll stay with a friend for now, he said softly. And then I'll figure it out. But I need to go, Georgia. I need to find myself again. Georgia's tears flowed freely as she nodded, letting his hand go. I'm so sorry, Ethan. I hope you can forgive me one day. Maybe, he said, his voice breaking. But right now, I need to take care of myself. He picked up his bags and walked out of the house, each step feeling heavier than the last. The cool night air hit his face, mingling with his tears as he headed to his car. He drove away, not looking back, the weight of the past pressing down on him, but also a glimmer of hope for the future. Ethan found solace in the arms of his co-worker, Emily. She had always been there for him, a steady presence even when Georgia was not. They had grown close over the years, sharing laughs and supporting each other through tough times. One evening, as they sat together on Emily's porch, Ethan opened up about his decision to leave Georgia. It was the hardest thing I have ever done, he admitted, staring at the stars. But I knew I couldn't stay. I needed to heal. Emily nodded, her hand resting gently on his. You did what you had to do, Ethan. You deserve to be happy, to find peace. He looked at her, grateful for her understanding. Thank you, Emily. You've been my rock through all of this. She smiled, squeezing his hand. I'm always here for you. You're not alone. Starting anew was painful, but necessary. Ethan threw himself into his work, finding distraction in the projects and the sense of accomplishment they brought. He spent evenings with Emily, their friendship slowly deepening into something more. One night, as they sat by the fire, Emily turned to him. Ethan, I know you're still healing, but I want you to know that I care about you, more than just as a friend. Ethan looked into her eyes, feeling a warmth he hadn't felt in a long time. I care about you too, Emily. You've been my anchor through all of this. I'm just scared of getting hurt again. Emily nodded, understanding. We can take it slow. There's no rush. Just know that I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. Ethan smiled, feeling a sense of peace he hadn't known in months. Thank you, Emily. That means a lot. As the months passed, Ethan slowly rebuilt his life. The pain of George's betrayal lingered, but it no longer consumed him. He focused on the present, on his work, and on his growing relationship with Emily. He hoped that one day he could find peace and maybe even forgive Georgia. But for now, he needed to heal. One afternoon, as he walked through the park, Ethan felt a sense of calm wash over him. The sun was shining, children were playing, and he realized that despite everything, life went on. He looked towards the future with cautious hope, ready to embrace whatever came next. Ethan had learned that moving on didn't mean forgetting the past, but rather finding a way to live with it and grow from it. He knew there would be challenges ahead, but with Emily by his side and a renewed sense of purpose, he felt ready to face them.